Okay. So we're uh, solving word problems again, and this word problem uh, is going to be solved using the bar model. The bar model is a great tool to use in math whenever we're trying to solve word problems because they help us to visually see what the problem is really asking us to do using a picture. One of the ways that we'll use that is using a bar model, and a bar model is just a thickened number line. Okay, so it looks like a rectangle. All right, the first step that we do whenever we read, whenever we have a word problem, is to read the entire word problem first so that we can figure out who is involved in the word problem and what is involved in the word problem. Okay, here we go. Adam has 11 fewer lollipops than Hope. If Adam has 16 lollipops, how many lollipops does Hope have? Okay. So after reading that word problem, I came across two people that were involved in the problem. I came across Adam, and I also saw that Hope was involved in the problem. Now I figure out what is involved in the problem. Well, it seems as if this problem is talking about lollipops. So this is about Adam's lollipops and about Hope's lollipops. So let's label those sections right now. Remember, anytime that you have more than one person and you have to draw another bar, we're going to make sure that the bars line up with each other, that they're right below each other um, at the starting point. They don't need to go to the very end of each other, but they do need to start at the very same point. So let's first draw Adam, Adam's lollipops. and Hope's lollipops. Okay, now that we've done that, we will begin to read each sentence step by step. Okay, and we're going to stop whenever we see periods, uh, question marks, or commas. Anytime we see a punctuation mark, we're going to stop and interpret that information. That means make sense of what we're reading. All right. First, Adam has 11 fewer lollipops than Hope. Period. Stop. All right. At this point right here, we have Adam has 11 fewer lollipops than Hope. Well, Adam has 11 fewer lollipops than Hope. Let's think about what that means. If I if I just skip the number for now, and I leave it out for one second, I can read, Adam has fewer lollipops than Hope. Well, if Adam has fewer lollipops than Hope, that means Adam has less lollipops than Hope. And whenever we know something is less, we know that it is to the left of um, something else, when we think about a number line. So that means Adam's is going to have to be to the left of Hope's um, number of lollipops, which means that Adam's bar is going to be shorter than Hope's bar. So let's draw Adam's bar being shorter and Hope's bar being longer. Adam's bar will be shorter. And remember, the bars need to start at the very same point, so they need to start, like, right there. Both bars need to start at that point right there. So I'll draw Hope's bar at that point as well, but just make it a little bit longer, because hers is longer than Adam's. All right, I've taken care of that piece of information that the fewer part, I've taken care of the fewer part, but I haven't now taken care of... 11 fewer. Adam has 11 fewer lollipops than Hope. Is that saying that Adam right here has 11 lollipops? No. It is saying Adam has 11 fewer. Fewer means that he has 11 to the left of Hope. So if Hope is right here, he has 11 to the left. That means from here to here is where the 11 should be placed because that shows that he has 11 fewer than Hope. So let's draw a length marker for that. And let's label that 11. Okay. 
Now that, that is all set, we can read the sentence one more time just to make sure we took care of every piece of information. All right, it says, Adam has 11 fewer lollipops than Hope. Is this showing that Adam has 11 fewer, 11 to the left of Hope? Yes, it does. All right, moving on to the next sentence. Check. If Adam has 16 lollipops, comma, stop. If Adam has 16 lollipops, well, this bar right here represents Adam's lollipops, right here. So that means this must be 16 lollipops. We can label Adam's lollipops as 16. Let's draw a length marker. And let's call it 16. Okay. All right. Let us uh, see if we take care of that piece of information. Adam, if Adam has 16 lollipops, yes, we did. All right. How many lollipops does Adam, does Hope have? How many lollipops does Hope have? That is the question right there. So how many lollipops does Hope have? Well, these are Hope's lollipops right here, from here to here. So it looks like we're going to draw a length marker and call that 16. I'm sorry. Um, if Hope, How many lollipops does Hope have? We're going to label that with a question mark. That's what we're trying to find out. We don't know that yet. And we'll label that with a question mark. Okay. Now it's time to put our sentence, our answer to the question in a complete sentence. Hope has blank lollipops. All right. Okay, so it, what are we missing here? Let's go. We're missing from here to here. This appears to be the entire length from the beginning of 16. It includes all of 16 and all of 11. So therefore, this must be right here so we can visually see it happening. This must be 16 and this must be 11. Just so we can see this visually. You don't need to draw this in. I just want you to see what you're missing. So we're missing right here the hole. We're missing this hole right here. So to find this number, we're going to have to put together 16 with 11. And that means we're going to be adding. We make our number sentence off to the side. 16 plus 11 equals... And let's figure that out. All right, let's add up our ones first. 1 plus 6 ones is seven ones and let's add up our tens one ten and another ten makes two tens which is twenty so let's put that down two in the tens place means it's twenty and the answer is twenty seven so we place twenty seven back into the original model and see if it actually makes sense do both sixteen and eleven make twenty seven let's check 1 plus 6 is 7, yes, and 110 plus 110 it makes 2 tens, which is 2 tens there, yes, 27 is our answer. So we go and read our question, Hope has blank lollipops, these are Hope's lollipops, what is the label for Hope's lollipops? 27. So we place the 27 right back into the sentence. Hope has 27 lollipops. Okay, um, doing this type of model helps to really show that you understand the word problem for what it's asking you, and it's also helpful because when you're reading, putting your answer back into the question, you can go to the labels um, to figure out what exactly you're talking about so you don't put the wrong number down. Um, sometimes uh, you may put the wrong number down, but if you have this model, you'll be able to really take a look. Okay, hope, hope. Uh, what does she have? Lollipops. These are Hope's lollipops. Therefore, we're looking at the number 27. Okay. Hope you enjoyed and learned as much as you can from bar modeling using comparison problems.